manos. some nice energy moving through it, okay? So today, we're gonna do monkey says, all right? Now the way monkey says works is that I tell you a shape and I do that shape and you try to copy me, but it only works if I say monkey says. That's how the game works. So if I say monkey says, ta-da, you would do a ta-da. But if I just said, ta-da, and you did it, well, then maybe you sit down, okay? So let's try it. We're gonna try monkey says. Again, monkey says, you do. You got it? Okay, let's give it a roll. We're gonna go uh, through all the shapes. So there's no game right now. I'm gonna say monkey says before everything on this turn. I promise, okay? So we're gonna review all of our shapes. I'm going to say monkey says. Ready? Monkey says, ta-da! Very good. Monkey says, squat. Good. It helps you if you say it with me. Monkey says, squat. And then you say, squat. Very good. Okay? Monkey says, safety, stick. Good. Let's try it again. Monkey says, safety, stick. Bent knees, hands in front. Excellent. Monkey says, tabletop. Monkey says, teepee. Monkey says, tabletop. Monkey says, straddle. Give your straddle. Feet apart, legs straight. Very good. Tabletop. Oh, I forgot to say, monkey says. Okay, so that's how the game works. I'm going to say monkey says, and then the shapes. If I don't say monkey says, and you do it, then maybe you sit down. You want to play with me? Excellent. Okay. Let's give it our first round. You ready? All right. Monkey says, safety stick. Monkey says, tabletop. Monkey says, TP. 
Monkey says, straddle. Monkey says, ta-da. Safety stick. Oh, no. Did you do it? Ah. Okay, let's try again. You ready? Remember, you got to wait until monkey says. Okay, here we go. Monkey says, squat. Monkey says, tabletop. Monkey says, squat. Teepee. Did I get you? Monkey didn't say. Okay, last time. Now, if I can do it a little bit faster, I'm gonna earn my speed badge today. You see this? It's the lightning bolt. I'm gonna try and get it on my sleeve. So maybe if I can do it just a little bit faster, then I'll get my, my speed badge today. Let's try it. Are you ready? Here we go. Monkey says, TV. Monkey says, table clap. Monkey says, straddle. Monkey says, tabletop. Monkey says, TV. Monkey says, ta-da. Monkey says, safety stick. Monkey says, ta-da. Monkey says, safety stick. Monkey says, ta-da. Monkey says, squat. Safety stick. Da! But I feel like I did it faster, right? I did it faster. So I earned my speed badge. Yeah, check this out. I take my badge and I peel it off and I stick it on my sleeve in this cool honeycomb shape. I'm so speedy. Yeah? Look at all the badges I've already earned. I earned these ones yesterday. Maybe I can get some more. Let's do it. Okay. Now that we're all warmed up, we're going to continue with our handstands. Yeah? Remember that it's handstand week. Yesterday, we did some of our lead-ins for handstand. Today, we're going to work on our shaping exercises for handstands. Now, what that means, when we talk about shaping in our handstands, we want to think about our body shape when we're upside down. Okay? Sometimes it's kind of hard to think about what shape you're in when you're upside down. So we practice it on the ground first. All right? Well, we practice it in a lot of different places. Sometimes we'll practice on mats. Sometimes we'll practice against the wall. We're going to do that one later. But first, we need to warm up all the places in our body that we're going to use specifically for handstand. Now that there's blood and everything and energy everywhere, we got to make sure that our, our joints and some of our muscles are a little bit more stretched out. Now, we're not going to actually do a stretch um, because we're not going to try to get more flexible right now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to do some injury prevention stuff. We're going to make sure the, the areas of our body that we're going to use a lot right now have a little bit more attention. We're not going to try and make them more flexible. We're just going to make sure that they're really, really awake and energized and ready. So the first place we're going to do is our wrists. Okay, so let's put our hands together. Get our wrists going around in little circles. Excellent. Maybe rub them a little bit. Rub them. Yeah. Now this is a fun one. You can take your hand, put your thumb down, take your other hand, put it on the side of it, and pull them together. So you kind of make like a little turkey head. Yeah. Ooh, super good. Let's try the other one. Thumb down. Hand, pull it in. Ooh, good stretch. Good stretch. Excellent. Let's do it on the ground a little bit. We're going to go on our knees, put our hands on the ground, do little circles. Oh, super good. Other way. And let's turn our fingers the other direction and do the same thing. Little circles. Remember, we're not trying to get more flexible right now. We're just trying to make sure that everything inside there is woken up and ready for action. Okay? The next thing we got to do is make sure our shoulders are good. All right? So let's put our hands on our shoulders and let's do a little bit of shoulder action here. Just a little bit of shoulder circles. Yeah? 
Get those nice and energized. The other way, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Kind of feel like some um, maybe not so talented bird. Can't really fly that far, right? Okay, let's do it with straight arms now. Circle, and the other one. A little windmills. And this way, and back. Excellent, now let's swing them. And twist. How are we feeling? Good? Excellent. The next thing we gotta make sure we do is we stretch out our hamstrings a little bit because we're gonna be doing a lot of lunges. So let's go down into a lunge with our knee down, our heel up, our front heel down, and lots of space between. We're gonna put our hands on our knee, and we're gonna push our hips down. Oh, super good. You wanna challenge? Lift that back knee off the ground. Whoop. How'd you do? Not so bad. Knee back down. And let's straighten that knee and put our nose to our knee. Okay, let's try the other side. A little lunge. Remember, we're gonna do a lot of lunges today. So we just wanna make sure that these areas are a little bit awake. Back knee up. Front knee straight, down. Remember, we're not trying to get more flexible right now. We're just making sure we're awake. Are you awake? Let's do it, handstand time. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we understand what to do with our back and our core. So we're gonna do some turtle rocks, all right? Turtle rocks are where we sit on our back and we pretend like we have a turtle shell on. And we get nice and round. We kind of hide our monkey. Yeah? So we're going to go into a turtle back position. We're going to put our hands in front of us. And we're going to try and rock three times and then come back to sit in. Right? So I'm in this shape. And my goal is to see if I can stay in this shape. Ready? I rock. One. Two. Three. And then sit up. How'd you do? Pretty good? Excellent. What you're doing in that is making sure that your lower back is nice and round, and your pelvis is turned, right? You can see how I'm making kind of a curved shape, yeah? We're not gonna be this curved in a handstand, but I want you to try and figure out what that feels like for you. So let's try it again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Excellent, okay. Let's see if we can do the same thing with a straighter body shape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like this. I know, this one's super tricky. If you feel like you're going splat on the ground, maybe turn your ribs around a little bit and round it out. Whoa. 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 How'd you do? Pretty good? Okay, now we're gonna get kind of tricky. We're gonna take that rounded shape and we're gonna flop over and put our monkey on the ground. This gets weird. Okay, check it out. I put my monkey on the ground. I put my arms up by my head. But now, I squeeze my backside and I lift my ribs so that my lower back is round just like on the ground before. Can you do it? Squeeze your legs together, lift your ribs, just the bottom of your ribs down here, and turn your pelvis under like you're a turtle again. But now you gotta do it on the ground with your monkey down, okay? Now a couple more things to think about. Squeeze your legs together, keep your chin on the mat, not your nose, because your nose will hurt. So keep your chin on the mat, and then reach as far as you can with your arms, so that as you're reaching, your shoulders come up and you shrug. Okay? Let's try it. I like to call this shape full extension. Full extension. Reaching as far as we can with our toes and our fingers. Beautiful. Okay? Monkey down. Ribs in. Full extension. Here we go. Let's do it for 10 seconds. Okay? Let's do it. All right? We're going to reach our fingers 
Chin down, armpits on the ground if you can. Squeeze your legs. Let's do it for 10 seconds. Ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's tired. Oh, okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that same turtle back shape, trying to get our pelvis a little bit round and our ribs a little bit in so our back is nice and flat and we're going to add it to what we call a box pose okay coach Tony's a little tall so his box pose is going to be a little bit higher but if you have an ottoman or a couch you're going to be able to do it just fine on that we're going to see if coach Tony can do it on this guy all right? Now, this is where I tell you, make sure you know your limits. Make sure there's lots of space around you that you're not going to fall over or bonk anything, like, you know, a dog or a sibling. Boop! Okay? So make sure you've got lots of space. And if grown-ups you're around, make sure you're watching your kiddos so that they have a, a, a really good grasp of, of safety and, and what they can and can't and shouldn't be doing. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna put my feet up on this. If you're um, doing this at home and you're obviously much smaller than me, your feet can go on something like this height, okay? But I'm gonna put my feet up here. So I want you to imagine that this is a couch, right? So I'm gonna put my feet up there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try from my hips to my hands to make that full extension so that it makes the one side of a box. Then my legs will be another side of the box. And then the chair is gonna be the other side of the box. And then the ground is gonna be the last side of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna put my feet up here. And you see how far forward my head is? I wanna put my booty on top of my hands and shrug and see if I can make a nice straight line from my hands to my hips. Whoa, that's challenging. Do you think you can do it? Okay, let's try again. Remember, your goal is to get your head and your ears between your arms with your booty right on top of your head so that you make one vertical line from your hands to your hips. Hands, hips, hands, hips. You got it? Let's try. Feet up. Remember, I'm a little bit taller, so you're gonna do feet on the couch. My head is out. I'm gonna lift my hips up and get my head in. Can you do it? Whoa, parents or siblings, can you look at them and see if they are in a straight line? Try it. Let's do it one more time, okay? Remember, hands, hips, straight line. Stacked is what we sometimes call it. Stacked like Legos, okay? Let's try it one last time. Feet up. Head in. Hips up. Whoa. Now, I don't know if I was doing it right, because I can't see myself. So if you think I could have done it differently, throw it in the comments. I promise. You won't hurt my feelings. You're going to help me learn. OK? If I wasn't straight up and down, or if I was kind of curved, or if my head was kind of sticking out, well, tell me. I'll try to fix it. I promise. OK? Let's move on to our next hand side handstand exercise. We're going to take that full extension shape and we're going to put it on a wall. That one. If you're going to do a full extension handstand shape on a wall in your house, make sure that you ask a grown up first. Okay? We want to make sure that the wall is a safe one for you to do it against. For example, if your wall is made out of spaghetti, it's probably going to break. So don't do it on the spaghetti wall. Okay? Our walls are made out of bricks. It's going to work. I have faith. Okay? Let's move the chairs out of the way. Here's our wall. 
Now, I'm going to add an element of safety on this. Sometimes doing it against a wall that's straight up and down is kind of challenging. So if you have an incline mat that looks like a cheese, you can make it so that your handstand isn't straight up and down, but it's kind of tilted. Makes it a little bit easier. So I've got this one. So I'm going to use this one. Yeah? Now here's your goal. When you're doing your handstand against the wall, you always want your monkey facing the wall. When you kick up this way to the wall, and sometimes what you end up doing is making kind of a banana shape with your body. Monkeys love bananas, but handstands don't love bananas. Handstands like straight sticks, okay? Sometimes when you kick up into a handstand, it looks like this. Ah! And you end up falling. But our goal is to find the full extension, like this. and you still might fall. This mat is gonna help us find that full extension. Let's do it together. Ready? Monkey to the wall, toes up, chin against the wall, toes against, squeeze your booty, ribs in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd you do? Did you get it? Okay, should we do one more? All right, let's do one more. Hands down, walk your feet up, chin against the mat, toes against the mat, ribs in, booty twist, leg tight. Yeah, let's try it. Hands down, feet up, chin, booty, toes, Okay? Sweet! Excellent. Those were our handstand shaping today. We've got our full extension, we've got our box pose, and we've got our handstand against the wall. Let's get this guy out of here. Whew. We did our warm up. We did our skill challenge. It's time for balance, okay? I've got a fun one today. We're gonna grab one of our books, and we're gonna grab a coin. I'm gonna set the book down, and I'm gonna stand on it. Then, I'm gonna take the coin, I'm gonna put it between my heels. Now I'm gonna go all the way up on my toes. Tall as I can. And try not to drop the coin. Ugh. Did you see it? Okay. I might have to take my shoes off for this one. Because I don't know if the shoes can hold the coin. So I'm going to do it like this. Feet together. Coin between my heels. And I go up on my toes. Try to hold. Whoa. Whoa. Can you keep your knees straight? Can you put your arms up? Whoa. How long can you hold it? Whoa. Whoa. I did about eight seconds. Why don't you try again or try after the video and post how many seconds you could hold the coin between your heels on the book in relevant. If you step off, your time is over. If you drop the coin, your time is over. Let me know how many you get. I'm sure you can beat me. Eight seconds. All right, that was our balance challenge for today. Now it's time for strength. I'm gonna put my shoes back on. Today we're going to do what's called pistols. 
Pistols are where we have one leg in front, bend our knee and stand back up. We're trying to do essentially a one-legged squat. When you do this, you want to make sure your knee goes straight in front of you and then straight back down. You don't want it to go out to the side. Okay? The first version of the pistol we're going to do is we're going to go down until our heel, we're only going to go down as far as we can before our heel starts to come off the ground. So for me, that's not very far. Yours might be farther than me. But we're not going to hold on to anything. Let's do five on each leg. You ready? Hands in front, one leg in front. Let's do five. Ready? Head down, right and up. One. your strength challenge. This is how I'm going to earn my strength badge today on my badge band. I want to see if I can go all the way to the ground and come all the way back up without touching anything. If I can get my booty on my heel and come back up to standing, I'm going to earn my badge band today. All right. This is for the badge band. Here we go. Leg in front, all the way down, all the way up. Championship! Did you do it? If you did, that's awesome. This is a really, really challenging skill. If you can do it on both sides, not only do you have strong legs, but you have great balance my strength badge. I'm going to throw it right next to the other one. I've got two. They're twinsies. They're twinsies. Look at that. Huh. Okay. So I did my strength challenge. I did my speed challenge. Let's try a skill challenge. Okay. You know what? Let's play the game and we'll save the skill challenge for the end. All right? Got a fun game for you today. It's kind of like yesterday. Do you remember how yesterday we put all the books down? Yeah? We're going to do the same thing today, but here's the deal. You're going to do the course today like an animal. Okay? Got to do it on all fours. Hands and feet. No standing. Okay? So let's choose our favorite animal. Now you might think that I would choose a monkey. But you would be correct. So I'm going to be a monkey. All right? We're going to do the game like an animal. Ooh, let's take this and put it over here. It can't touch the ground, it's just like lava. And we got to do it like an animal. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm, let's start. here on the green. Are you ready? Are you all set up? Books down. Everything out. I'm going to challenge you along the way. So the first thing that you're going to need to know is that I'm going to say you can't touch the couch cushions or the chair cushion with your hands. It's going to get weird. 
but we'll do it together. Okay, here we go. Only hands and feet. No standing. No standing. So I can't put my hands on the couch cushion. So what am I going to do? Hmm. Maybe I can do my forward roll. What do you think? Look at my monkey. Roll! Huh. No hands! Okay. No hands on the couch cushion. No hands on that cushion either. Maybe I can go around. Whoa! Try it again. Hands. Hands and feet. Huh. Hands and feet. Huh. Last time I did a forward roll. Maybe this time I can put my hands on the mat, on the couch but not my feet. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll put that up there. Maybe I'll put my feet up here. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Cool. I did it. tricky one today. Let's get all of our hooks together. And now, we're going to add a real challenge to get our skill badge today. This is for all of you out there who are like, Coach Tony, I've already got a handstand. Challenge me. I got you. Yesterday, we did handstand shoulder touches. You didn't see it. Go back to the tumble track page and check it out. The shoulder touches, we tried to do the alphabet. And the challenge was, how far can you get down the alphabet touching your shoulders, but on your hands? It's a really good one. You should check it out, you're really gonna like it. Okay, I cleared a bit of space for myself. If you wanted to, you could set out the mat and that would be fine. But I wanna make sure that I have a lot of room I'm really lucky because I've got a soft carpet. Hopefully you've got a big rug. Now, our challenge today is handstand pirouettes. This is how I'm gonna get my skill badge, my star, okay? So my skill badge is a handstand pirouette. We're gonna try quarter turns, okay? Maybe tomorrow we'll do half turns. I don't know, we'll see. But let's do quarter turns today. Now the way that we're going to do quarter turns is we're going to have a line on the floor. If you have a rug that has a line, or you can use anything for the line. And we're going to start kicking up and trying to do quarter turns with our hands over the line. So we're going to go one turn, and then the other turn. One turn, and then the other turn. Well, we're going to use the line. So I'm going to go hands down here. I'm going to go straddling the line, both sides of the line. Straddling the line, both sides of the line. That's how we know we're doing actual quarters. We're not just scooting around. One, two, three, four. Four steps is all you get to get all the way around. Okay? Watch it once. Wasn't pretty, but I did. Can you try? Maybe I'll try a few more times. Hopefully mine look a little bit better. 
but you try it with me. See if you can get your skill badge. All right? One, two, three, four. How'd you do? If you're going one, two, ball, you're kind of doing a cartwheel instead. So really think about when you do these shoulder touches, how you're posting, how you're posting, you're getting a lot of energy. Focus on those postings instead of just falling to the side. Okay? Push, 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 push. Yeah? Heels on top of your head. Push, 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 push. How'd you do? I feel pretty good about my last one. So I'm going to give myself my skill badge. Boom! Get this over here next to my speed badge. Look at that. Look at all the things I've done this week. Yeah? Skill, skill, creativity. That was a good one. Speed, strength, strength. Boom! By the end of the week, this whole thing's going to be full. It's going to be awesome. All right. That was our class today. Thanks for joining me, Coach Tony, Homenastics, broadcasting from Gemini Gymnastics in LaGrange, Illinois, part of Ninja Monkey Gym. Next week, we're going to start incorporating a little bit of equipment inside of our gym, inside of our experiences. One of the things that I want to talk about are these build -a -mats. These are great in case you have a space that doesn't necessarily fit a regular panel mat because they come in fun sizes this one's carpet that's pretty cool right so you can kind of mold them to be whatever uh, uh, space that you want at Gemini Gymnastics we actually use them in our yoga studio which isn't necessarily a perfectly square space so if you've got like a little basement like I do at home and you want to find a way to mat, to mat it safely, but in a way that just tears apart, you can stack it all to the side. These are a great option, okay? Um, Monday, we're gonna do the bars. Then on Tuesday, maybe we'll get the building mats involved, all right? Once again, I'm Coach Tony. I've absolutely loved hanging out with you. If you've loved hanging out with me, put your name and, your, uh, and the city that you're from inside the comments. We're gonna grab one of those names and we're gonna reach out to you and send you a free shirt. We're gonna do these contests throughout the week, so make sure that you're engaging with us, make sure that you're commenting, telling me about how many handstand shoulder touches you did, telling me about how long you held your uh, releve with the coin between your feet. We love that, we wanna hear it. We wanna get you involved, all right? I want to say one more giant thank you to Tumble Track. They've been so great, they've been so amazing, and our whole goal here is to find the fun with you. We just want to hang out, get kids moving, get parents involved, stay active, stay healthy, stay safe. We love you. See you again tomorrow. Same time, same Gemini place, same monkey.